Welcome to my channel everybody where today I'll be reviewing the new Showdown SBC Danny Sebalos card and let's get straight into looking at the card itself. So the first things to take note of on this screen is the work rates have changed from medium medium to high high which is going to be quite good especially if you're going to be playing him in centre mid role. He's also had a weak foot upgrade so he's no longer 4 star 3 star he is now 4 star four star so those are quite some significant changes off the bat for this card next change comes up in the alternative position so on his normal card it is a cm or cdm they've now added the cam option in the squad building section for this card which i guess is that little bit extra niceness i guess in terms of flexibility and play around with squad building side of things Player traits haven't had anything uh, changed about those, so he's still got the flair and technical dribbler. So looking at his in-game stats, the biggest thing to note is his big pace upgrade. So his base card has got 58 pace, this one's got 83. So that definitely helps make him more usable in-game. Then, in terms of the face stat-wise, it is a very much an all-rounder across the board. Like, this is almost Hullet Gang material. The only the defending coming under 80. However, on those defending stats, the only thing that is letting it down is hidden accuracy. Everything else is actually looking quite good. It's greens across the board with only oranges being in hidden accuracy, jumping and penalties. So you got that flexibility to change things around with the chem styles depending on what you role you want him to be playing. So if you want him more CDM, then you've got that ability to play the shadow or the anchor. If you want to play him in a more cam role and he's got good shooting stats in some ways, you slap a hunter on him, then you get the pace and the shooting boost. His pet passing is pretty much decent as well. I'm not going to complain about that. The dribbling side of things, okay. Yes, you could probably want to maybe upgrade that. So you could if you want into, even with the cam roll. You could maybe just go with something like a marksman instead to give his uh, like dribbling up a little bit. Then his shooting physicality. Or you could go with maybe a finisher like or an engine. Like There's just many opportunities to play around with this card. But those are some nice stats. And then obviously, because it's a showdown card, you could effectively add plus two onto all of this. And then suddenly, he is in the Hullet Gang. So he's got 81 defending. He's got then 85 pace. He's got 89 sh dr pass passing. 91 dribbling. So it's a very tasty looking card for upgrade potential if they win against Atletico Madrid. Here is the team that I'm using. As you can see, he's not on full cam. I've only got him two cam. I just I didn't want to change up the team too much because this is the Arsenal person present. So I've taken out RVP, put Morientes in, but then I'm going to sub on RVP. I'm going to try Sebalos at CM for one half and then at cam for the other half, as long as we don't get a rage quit, of course. So try him out as a box to box and then as an actual dedicated cam card just to see how if he has that potential in game. I do think he also has potential to play at CDM because this card kind of reminds me of the Jorginho card. So let's get into a game and see how good this Danny Sebalos card is. Right, let's whip it in. See if we can get an early goal. No, nope. cross wasn't quite on the mark. Okay, wins that header nicely. Go on. Nice simple pass to Vieira. Vieira gets taken out. Let's go for distance shot. Um, That had like pretty much no power to it. Let's see if you can win the ball back. Yes. Oh, that was you. That You got the interception there. I thought he was in the middle of the pitch, not out wide. Now, I don't normally put right footers on this side, but we're going with a right footer. Swing it in. Oh, that was a good taken corner. Just off the line, though. Go on. Lo oh, oh, yes. Yes, lovely over the top pass from Celebalos. And Walcott managed to keep hold of it, and we get the goal back. Right, here we go. Nice, simple pass. Keep hold of the ball. 
nicely done with the dribbling. And that will be another assist for Danny. That was well worked. Nice dribbling. Not too bad of a shot, although could probably have done with a bit more power. All right, over the top. Lovely stuff. Oh, Van Persie! That could have been an assist for him. His first real action at Cam as well. All right, here we go. He's through. Get the shot. Simple shot. Simple goal. This card is definitely like a Jorginho. Go on. Nicely done, Danny! No! Why? Why do strikers keep bloody doing something that stops him from getting an assist? Danny, whip it in. Get a cross off nicely. And Robin Van Persie does not get a good header on that. So there's his final stats for this game. He got one goal, one assist. I'm pretty sure that he had a hand in both of the goals that he didn't score. But I kind of want to try him at CDM. So what I might do is if he does get the upgrade, I will come back to this and review him at CDM instead. But my final thoughts and feelings on him as a cam slash box-to-box -box midfielder. He certainly seemed to do a lot more in the first half as a box-to-box -box than as a cam in the second half. He felt pretty solid. I think he's a very good flexible card. And as I've said a few times, this card is reminding me of Jorginho's card very much. So... The SBC itself as well, 86 and 84 rated squad. So isn't too heavy on use of fodder. Coming in at about 140k. So if you do really want to use liquid coins, you got that option. I do feel a little bit like the fact that he is... A, well, he can be made explosive with two chem styles. However, the chem styles that you realistically want to be using on him means that he's going to be controlled, which is probably maybe for me the only downside that I would have for it. But his passing was pretty good. His dribbling was good. I didn't really actually see him do anything in terms of defensive work. But I had the same issue when reviewing Jorginho, but it was after that that I came to appreciate actually Jorginho is very good defensively and I think this could be very similar situation that if you're playing him on full chem because bear in mind I wasn't playing him on full chem I didn't have a defensive based chem style on him I had an offensive based one so with a shadow on him I think he could be a good maybe box to box style CDM and if he does get the upgrades this card is just going to be sensational and I, I think he'll be underutilized as well by people. I don't think many people actually genuinely use this card. Which is a bit of a shame because it's not a bad looking card. But that is going to be it for this player review. But as I said, if he gets the upgrade, maybe I'll come and revisit him. And actually try him out as a pure CDM card. Like I do with my Jorginho on this Arsenal past and present. To see if he can generally do that role with the work rates. But that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye guys.